Hi, and welcome to a new screencast about the Glassfish 3.1, and specifically the strong typed injection of dynamic OSGI services. And this screencast will be using an OSGI bundle, which we have here, uh, with an API part separated from the implementation. So if we look at the API, it's quite straightforward. It's a stock quote service with get quote and get symbol methods. Uh, the implementation itself is quite straightforward as well. It's actually hard coded values for uh, for stock quotes. Now there's also a, an activator in the bundle uh, which will register um, a given implementation with a given name as you can see here. We have a Glassfish 3.1, a recent version of that running and at this point we'll go into the uh, OSGI console that ships with Glassfish. So tell that to localhost 6666 and we'll get into the uh, Apache Felix GoGo -Go, um, console. We'll list all the bundles and we see we have 252 bundles. Uh, this is These are the Glassfish bundles by default. So now we can use the AS admin to deploy uh, an artifact which is the OSGI bundle we just saw uh, with the type OSGI option. And here we have deployed um, the bundle itself and if we uh, list the bundles one more time we see that not only is it deployed this is our stock code service bundle but it's also in active mode which is uh, because we deployed with AS admin and we can see that with the list application it it's deployed and it uses the OSGI runtime directly now looking at the client we have a beans.xml file that is empty in a web application uh, so we'll be using CDI uh, a web profile web client, a servlet 3.0 uh, with annotated here with that web servlet available from slash list and we will be injecting a stock quote service so this is the implement this is the interface not the implementation we'll be injecting this this is CDI um, annotations and here we have a, steer uh, a qualifier which was defined as part of a uh, CDI portable extension shipping with glassfish. Uh, which uh, removes all the boilerplate you would need to uh, type if you were to deal with uh, dynamic behavior of um, OSGI services yourself. And as you can see, there are a number of attributes that can be used uh, while injecting the service with this qualifier, this qualified injection. So um, it is an OSGI service and we're injecting a stock quote service which is dynamic, it can be there or it cannot, and while waiting to bind, uh, we'll wait 10 seconds before we time out. And then we'll invoke methods directly on that um, value that has been injected in this attribute. Now, uh, we will actually deploy this in um, the OSGI console by installing the bundle. This is a Word file, so it's a web application, it has a new ID, and while it has been installed, we can see it here, it's actually not yet uh, active so we need to start that bundle specifically and now you see the binding actually happen and the application in the glassfish log is deployed on the slash stock quote url and we can actually hit the application and on the slash list and we see that this is actually uh, behaving as expected now if we were to stop the bundle the service the OSGI service itself and try to reload uh, the web application which is still there the surface itself it was trying to use is no longer there so uh, it's going to time out after those 10 seconds and then of course you can start over again and hit the web page again and in this case it's responding so this concludes this very short screencast on injecting in a strongly uh, type safe matter an OHGI reference to a service which can be dynamic so check out glassfish.org, get a recent version of uh, Glassfish 3.1 and try this out for yourself. Thanks for watching.